Well, OK, today we're going to talk about uh, another part of uh, English language. So it's greeting, responding. So how to greet people, formal, informal, and the words and phrases that we normally use and we don't use anymore. OK, so let me share my screen. Well. OK. Now you can see the bird. OK, well, so. Would you briefly talk about greeting? You know, what is greeting? Do you know? Uh, when we say greeting in English. Greeting is to say hello to someone. Um, yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. Greeting is hello. Not only hello. You know, actually greetings in English are expressions or sometimes gesture like this. You know, this is a gesture that not only actually expressions. Sometimes gestures use when meeting someone. Actually, they are a way to show respect, maybe, and friendliness or goodwill. So, different ways to respect people to uh, actually uh, show your friendliness. So, it can be actually maybe expression or sometimes gesture, but as we discussed before, we have formal informal greeting that we need to talk about. So maybe the phrases that we use when we are talking to someone who we don't know or we are not familiar with, of course, we use different phrases and words. Then we talk to our friends, maybe family. Well, the first thing when you see someone, when you meet someone, what is the first word that you say? Mm. Uh, it it depends on that person is a um, of familiar one or unfamiliar. OK, so first of all, let's talk about formal language and informal now. You want to talk to, for example, you you want to make a formal conversation. So formal greeting. Um, formal. I depend on the time. I can say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Very good. Uh, of course. So instead of hello, so there is a point here. Uh, you don't say hello, good morning. Just good morning is enough. OK, yeah. so hello, hello or and of course, when making formal conversation, uh, actually you need to pay attention if two types of people, the first type, as you mentioned, the people who you don't know or maybe you don't have a very close relationship with. So you need to actually talk and use some formal phrases, but uh there is another actually type when you meet older people so it's something that when you meet older people you need to use formal language now, for example i don't say what's up to for example a person who is maybe 10 or i don't know more than 10 years older than me so that's really important so good morning good evening OK, there are formal ways of uh, saying hello. So instead of and as you said, depending on the time, OK? One question, and, please. But there is a point here. Oh. Good night. You don't say so. We say good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Instead of hello, good night is only used to say goodbye. Yeah. So when you want to say goodbye, you say good night. OK, so you don't say hello, good night, goodbye. OK, yeah. Yeah, I have a question, please. 
Yeah, before when I studied, uh, teacher said that hello is informal. Um, but now it seems that hello can use informal cases. Is it? No? Hello is, hello is, uh, maybe, let me say something. Hello is not informal. Okay, hello is formal. For example, when you want to write a letter, send mm -hmm. email to someone, of course you say hello, you write hello. So hello is not informal. If you want to say uh, informal, informal word, you say hi. Hi there, hey. Okay, so hello is not informal. Okay, mm -hmm. but when you say good morning, of course, actually, this is another formal way, another way instead of hello. So because of this, we say, for example, we use good morning, good afternoon, good evening, okay, as a formal way, you know, of saying hello. So hello is formal, it's not informal. One more question, please. Of course, of course. Um, before when I studied teacher, um, teach, talk to us, dear sir or madam, when we write something to a for yeah. a strand person. Um, but um, I saw teacher Mike, um, he, he teach English on the um, <laughs> internet. And when somebody write to him, dear Mike, he say, don't write to him dear Mike because uh, they are not close enough to to use dear or uh, I a little I have Sorry. a little confused what of course, <laughs> I talk about this so this is about the writing of course uh, we are not talking about speaking now so for writing dear sir dear madam dear mrs dear miss okay dear master or Dear Mike, dear Monica, so when we use, okay, the first one, dear master or dear madam, when you don't know the name of person or you don't want to mention, you don't want to write, you say dear sir or dear madam. So no, just dear sir. So you don't need to write the name, okay? Just dear sir, dear madam. This is very formal way. After that, when you know me, for example, if I'm married or no, so Miss, Mrs, you know me. So dear Mrs. Anderson, okay? Because I'm married, so we can say dear Mrs. Anderson. So you can add my family name now. When you say dear madam, you don't say dear madam Anderson, just dear madam. Normally use it, for example, you are writing, I don't know, maybe a business, OK, letter or you want to send a business email, you say, sir or madam, because no matter who you are talking to, you are sending an email and you're uh, writing a letter to an organization or corporation. But when you say dear miss or master or missus, you know the name, you know that person. OK, and about dear Monica. Uh, there's something like we know each other for uh, maybe a long time. Maybe we are not friend, close friend, but we know each other. After, for example, and when we are at the same age, that is really important. For example, I have students. Dear Monica, of course, you know, this person is not allowed to call me dear Monica. OK, because I am dear, for example, dear Mrs. Anderson and dear. So if you are at the same age and you know the person, for example, I have a, a co-worker. OK, or for example, I have maybe a colleague. We are working together. We're sending we're chat emails. We're chatting, you know, so it's something like this. So we do this every day. When I say, OK, for example, dear. Lisa, it's OK because I am I'm do, actually I do something every day so I can say. But if you are not close to someone, you don't say dear. If you want to say dear, dear, Mrs. Master, Miss. OK, and yeah, yeah. 
So this is the way that you can use them. Okay, get it? Yes, I get it. Yes, very okay. good. You're I welcome. No. You're welcome. Okay, and now let's talk about something else. Uh, good evening. So when actually, uh, when you want to greet someone uh, and it's late in the day, you don't say good night, you say good evening. So when it's late in the day, you don't say, if you want to say good night, just, uh, you know, when you want to actually say goodbye, you say good night and finish. Okay, well, and if you want to make good morning informal or casual, you only say morning. So morning, okay, or uh, afternoon or evening, they are informal greetings. So, okay. And, but let me say, uh, they're not common. Just you need to know that we don't use, if you didn't, you know, for example, you travel somewhere and you don't, you're, it's not really common. So for example, okay, evening, it's not common, less common. I can say less common, common, but not really common. So, but you can use. Morning is more common than evening and afternoon. Morning is, yeah, morning, so it's okay. Well, and uh, when you want to greet someone formally and politely, okay, if you say, for example, it's nice to meet you, pleased to meet you, okay, uh, when it's the first time that you meet this person, actually it will make you seem polite. So it's really polite way to meet someone when it's first time that you meet someone. So it's nice to meet you or pleased to meet you, both of them. And when you don't see, when you're not seeing the person, please don't use, you know, meet you because of course, you can talk, you can say, for example, please to talk to you, or for example, nice to talk to you, so you can say. Well, and when you have already met someone, okay, so, and someone asks you, how have you been? How have you been? Actually, they want to know if you have been well, since the last time the two of you met, for example, me and you, we met, we have met before. So I ask you, how have you been? This is another formal phrase that we use. And we say, actually, we use when I want to know if you have been well since the last time we met. So I can use this or of course this can be formal informal. So both of them how? Huh? Yeah, it's OK. You can use it. It's OK. And um, there is, I think, uh, an old fashioned maybe. So I want you not to use it. How do you do? How do you do is very formal very formal and quiet, old fashioned. So we don't use it because of this. Let's leave it, okay. But some older people still use it. So just older people, but we don't say, how do you do? So, okay. But uh, I'm doing well, it's okay. And uh, uh, let's talk about informal greeting. So, hey, hi, informal. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know how to reply when people say, how do you do to me? Or how have you been? So at that time, what should I reply? Okay, how have you been? When someone asks you a question, how? Okay, how are you doing? How are you? How have you been? Just you can say, not bad. Well, great. So something because actually uh, these questions are asked 
to know if you were good or no. So you can say, for example, if someone asks you, how do you do? You know, I'm doing well, so it's OK. OK, so but you know, I'm doing well, good, not bad. It's OK. So how have you been? Because this person wants to know if you have been well. Yeah, of course, and you can give some details, of course. No, no, yeah, not bad. You know, I, you know, something happened. If you know this person, you can give some details. You know, I don't know. I can't say perfect, but so something like this. So you express, you know, if you have been well since the last time or no. So it's something, OK? And now. Informal hello, you know. Hi. Very common, you know, hi. And uh, hey. Hey is OK. Hey there. Hey. Are. Hey there. Or hi. OK, so you can say hey. For example, hey man. Oh, if for example, you know, man, you know, OK. If you if you actually uh, talk to a male or a man, you say "Hey, man." So not for women. We don't use it for ladies. Okay. So, "Hey, hi." Okay. So both are uh, particularly popular among, especially among younger people. "Hey" and "Hi." So, and uh, of course, in any casual casual situation, "Hi" is really good. So you can say this is an appropriate one. OK, of course, hey is for people who have already met. They know. OK, so if you say hey to a stranger, it might be a bit confusing. OK, because you know, because for example, I don't know you and say hey, you make me confused. Have we met? I think like this, you know, if you say hey to someone, that person thinks that, you know, they have met before. So when uh, someone is totally stranger, you don't know, you don't say hey, just hi. OK, yeah. wow. And as I told you, hey man is used for actually males. So and um, some people but you know, there is something uh, maybe you hear in the US. OK, some people uh, maybe uh, we can say. Younger women they use, but it's casually great, you know, OK, uh, they use hey man. OK, but but if you know the woman very well, we are close friends. And we are young girls who say hi, hey man, so it's OK. But when you're close friends, you really uh, actually know each other very well, so it's OK. And young ladies, so. And uh, OK. Just uh, when we say hey, there is a point here. Some people think that hey is actually, you know, doesn't maybe. Uh, is another word for hello and doesn't uh, actually, but there is a point here. It doesn't always mean hello. You can also use it to call for someone's attention. Hey. Hey, buddy. OK, so I want to draw your attention so I can use hey, so it's OK. It depends when you are talking, for example, when actually this is an in person, maybe an in person conversation. Hey means hello when OK, I'm talking to someone else and you know me and say, hey, you want to get my attention. So. And now. Uh, let me ask you a question. OK, how do you introduce yourself to a stranger? Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on uh, what is the purpose mm, that I need to introduce myself. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Uh, for example, when I, uh, I, 
identify myself when I go to the hotel. I would say hello. I um I book a room in your hotel. This is uh, my um booking detail. Mm. Here. Can I check in now? <laughs> yeah, of course. So, uh, very good. So here is this is no. Here is my, for example, checking detail. So here is, okay. Here. Yeah, and uh, for example, you can say here you go or there you go. For example, I want to give it to you and say here you go or there you go. So it's okay. You can say here you go or there you go when you want to give something to someone. So here you go. It actually they mean here you are or there you go. Here you go. You can say. OK, well, so of course, when you introduce yourself, uh, yeah, you say it depends. If you are actually talking to, you know, someone, face to face in person or no. For example, this is, I don't know, a phone call, as I told you. You don't say I am, this is. So yes. when, when you see I am or um, um is the better way, the best way we can say um. I'm Monica Anderson and I've already booked a room at your hotel and I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it if you actually check for example, there is my reservation. So appreciated if means I thank you. Just thank you in a formal way. So mm -hmm. when you want to say thank you and it's a formal way, appreciate it. OK, especially for writing. So it's it's used, commonly used. OK, how's it going? How are you doing? Casual ways instead of how are you? Mm -hmm. OK, if you uh, if you want to be very polite, of course, you say, how are you? It's OK, but if you want to use casual way, for example, with the students or I don't know someone who you know, so why do you need to say, how are you? So how's it going or how are you doing? OK, how are you doing? OK, and uh, of course you can use uh, these expressions to greet almost everyone. So it's OK. Yeah, appropriate uh, phrases that we can use, expressions that we can use uh, to greet almost everyone. And when we say going, you know, uh, actually when it sounds more like going. So it's going well. I'm doing well. So depending, uh, you know, depending on the question, question you can answer with. I'm doing well. It's doing well. So it's it's going well. So let me write. It's going well. Not bad. Awful. So of course it depends your you know answer. So or I'm doing well. So for example, I'm doing well. Okay, okay, let me. Okay, so just when I say how are you doing? How are you doing? You don't say it's going well. I'm doing well. So depending on the question. Okay. Well, uh of course, most of people say good, just answer good. Grammatically, we say it's not correct, but it's OK, we say. So uh, it's something like when someone asks you, how are you? You say, uh, good, how about you? So action, reaction to keep conversation going. So that's really important. And we have a really, really, really um, common phrase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or what's up? OK, 
Okay, so let me say, what's up? What's up? Very common, usable, but uh, you normally, you normally hear sup when someone, a native, when someone, a native says sup, that is what's up, okay? Especially among teenagers. So because, you know, of course, for adults, we normally say what's up, so it's okay. And you can say nothing or not much. If you have anything to say, it's okay. You can say, but nothing or not much. Of course, you can give. Okay, so. And so, what's up? Very good. Usable, informal, but you use them instead of how are you? So, we don't say, how are you? And then what's up? No. What's new? What's going on? So in other ways. What's new? Well, OK, what's new, guys? OK, or what's going on? So you can say. OK, what's going on? And you know, just going, doing, it's like going, it sounds like going, we don't say going, what's going on, going on, going on, no, so this is going, is going, or how you doing, 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 not doing, okay, so we don't say doing, and uh, so, uh, these phrases, these expressions are typically used to casually greet someone that, you know, you have met before, important, okay? And most of people answer with nothing, not much, okay? Well, and if you think that, oh, I'm making, yes, yes, of course. I, I don't know why the answer is nothing. What's up? Nothing. Ah, oh, because you're asking about news, asking for news. What's up? What's new? And you can say, for example, I say, uh, you know, let me say, maybe this actually expression can make you, can make you confused. When I say they are used, they are the other informal ways of asking how are you? And you say, okay, how are you? Should be answered with, okay, for example, I'm good, not bad. So why I say nothing here? Yeah. When I say what's up, what's new, what's going on, I'm asking for news. Ah, you can say, what's up? Ah, I have moved to my new house. I, so this is the answer for it. If you want, if you think that, you know, okay, you feel like uh, this is really small talk. So let me briefly describe anything. So something you can briefly describe anything new or interesting that's going on in your life. So you can say, and after that, after that, when you finish your answer, you can say, what about you? What about you? It means I want to keep conversation going to continue the conversation. So I say, what about you? Well, now, now the other phrases, okay, that you can answer with good or not bad. We have different phrases. When someone asks you, how's everything? How are things? How? So as I told you, when someone asks you a question using how, you answer, you respond using, well, not bad, good, very good, perfect, awful. But this is how, feeling, emotion. When someone asks what about something, news, okay? So, how's everything, hard things, how's life? So, informal again. So, you can say, Things. Bye. 
informal. OK, these uh, expressions can be used to casually greet someone and ask how the person is doing. OK, but as I told you, most often these sentences are used to greet someone you already know. So we know each other, we can use this expression. And to these, you can answer good, not bad, OK. Good, not bad, so anything. OK, if you think that, uh, I don't know if I you know. If small talk maybe fees appropriate. You could, for example, it's OK, you want to keep going, you want to continue. You could also briefly share any interesting news about again. So good, not bad, and then you can give some details. So it's OK. And what about you or how about you? So another. OK. Well. Another thing. How are you again? Uh, how was your day? How was your day? OK. And uh, of course, and. Another one. How's your day doing? How's your day doing? OK, so these questions means how are you? But not just right now. Uh, how you've been all day. So and uh, you would use these expressions. OK, uh, later in the day, for example, with someone you see regularly. For example, this is night and I'm going to ask you about your day. How's your day? How's your day doing later? OK. And for example, you can ask your colleague. OK, one of these questions in the afternoon. OK, so or uh, for example, I don't know a person who. For example, like I don't know, like a salesperson. OK, that you normally regularly see every evening, so it's OK, you can use. OK, and you can say, ah, it's doing, it's going well or it's OK, but it's going well is OK. Grammatically OK, it's OK, but we don't say it's going well, we say fine. Just this. I know. Just this. So actually, we normally simply answer with fine. All right, not bad. Good. So you can say something like this. OK. And let me say something about these three words. By the way, good, fine and not bad are perfect answers to almost any greeting questions. If you have nothing to say, just use the three words for all answers. They're really good answers for almost any greeting question. OK. Well, so any questions about this one? No, thanks. OK, so. And now. Uh, when you uh, see. Actually, you meet your friends colleagues, family members, OK? And you haven't seen them in a while. Ah, good to see you. Nice to see you <laughs> because there is something. Nice to see you. Sometimes, for example, some people, especially when I some teachers, maybe I uh, who are not native, I see that, you know, I hear nice to for example, see you. It's really nice to see someone when you don't know him or her. Really? Why? Why? For example, people say nice to see you is a really good way when you want to greet someone that you haven't seen in a while. No, it's not. 
when you don't know, for example, you don't know me. And OK, for example, this is the second time that we met. For example, we met. Is it really nice to see me? I don't think so. So we don't say for family, friends and colleagues that you know them and you haven't seen again casual. Good to see you. Nice to see you. So. Don't use it for stranger. OK, so. And uh, this is for a, a while, as I told you. Good to see you. Nice to see you or uh, use actually for family members, co-workers and friends that you haven't seen in a while. OK, but. Uh, especially for close friends, as I told you. Uh, close friends can hug, you know, each other when I don't know when uh, they haven't seen each other in some times. OK, and uh, handshake, hug, so you can say on your it depends on your relationship with the person you can use. But when you haven't seen someone who you know for a long time. OK, for a long time, for example, you say long time no see or oh, it's been a while. So long time no see or. It's been a while. Oh, it's been a while it's since last time we met. It's been a while. So these casual, as I told you again, casual greetings are used when you haven't seen someone in a long time. OK. And, you know, particularly, you know, if you meet the, this person unexpectedly, Ah, suddenly, ah, ah, you're here, long time no see, or it's been a while. So suddenly you met someone, you can use them. And uh, of course, how much is a long time maybe? It depends, you know, uh, on how often you normally see that person. For example, we normally meet each other, I don't know, uh, twice a month. So after two months, for example, one month, you can say long time no see because we already met each other, for example, twice a month. So it's not. So it depends. Long time depends on you. OK, but you know, if you normally see a person every week and then don't see them for a few months or more or more, it's OK. You can say OK. Well, if you have any questions, so far you can ask me and then we keep going. So um, this yeah, everything is well. Thank you. OK, very good. OK, very good. Well, and just let me say something. Uh, some maybe, maybe uh, you watch some videos on YouTube, some tutors, English tutors, and everyone teaches something, try to teach something new. And they try to find new words, vocabulary, something that the other people don't teach. Ah, this one is let me teach what? Just keep in your mind that there are some slangs, for example. And OK, for example, let me say something. Uh, yo. Not this one. Yo. You mean OK, one teacher teaches you this is a really informal greeting common okay okay it's common in the us okay and uh but this is uh you know something like situational actually words so something like 
when I want to say that when you hear some new words and say, OK, this really common in the US. No, uh, for example, you it's a common greeting in the US in my country and it comes from, I think, uh, 1990s hip hop slang or something like this. But these days, uh, you know, often used jokingly or sometimes seriously, so it's OK. But you know, uh, when you are close friends, we see a traveler. Of course, the students learn something and now travels or immigrate to actually the US and say, you to me, what? You, why? We are not close friends. I'm older than you. So why are you using this? So I want to say that slang especially. For example, they are these slangs, casual uh, phrases. They are normally local slangs, OK? For example, they are something like regional. Australian, some areas maybe in the US, OK? So when you use them, they can sound quite strange. OK, so that's really important how to use them. For example, uh, we have howdy. How do you do? Howdy, that is common, but in certain parts of the US, not everywhere. I say howdy, maybe it sounds really strange. So we need to pay careful attention to the slang. But of course, sup, common slang, it's OK. It means what's up, so it's OK. You can uh, use them and well. OK, uh, so we talked about dear sir or madam, and as I told you, we use this when you want to write to someone whose name you don't know. OK, yeah. I, yeah. I have question please um i uh, i i'm a little confused about what using the name um i understand well when you when you explain um, teacher mike uh, she when somebody's write to him dear mike yeah mike okay. is given name so it uh glows and maybe yeah, that person should write dear teacher Mike or yeah. dear Mr. Mike is yeah. more light. Yeah, but I don't know uh, because when I study IL and the teacher told us to call him Frank, not yeah. teacher Frank or Mr. Frank. So. <laughs> I, I I don't know which one is correct. So yeah. let me say something. Uh, let me talk about something common in my country. For yeah. teachers, of course, it depends on the person. You know, yeah. so let me open a bracket here and say that. Uh, put this part in quotation and say that it depends on the person. But we normally for teachers, when we want to call a teacher we normally call them, uh, for example, Master, Mrs, OK, or Ms, and family name, surname. For example, uh, Mr or Mrs or I don't know, Ms Anderson, OK? So this is something that we normally, especially at school, for example, when you go to school, if someone call me, uh, Monica, I say, go out of my class. Get out. This is, you know, something like impolite way to call a teacher. OK, so this is about this one. But uh, I have some students. We are really close. It's OK. For example, it's been a long time that I'm teaching them. So they call me teacher Monica. It's OK. Monica or one of them calls me Monica. I really like her, 
and we are at the same age. That is really important. So it's OK. Depends on the person. Dear, when we say dear, dear is used in formal and professional settings. OK. And, uh, you know, it indicates respect. OK, so when you include person's name, it makes it more personal. So when I say dear, for example, teacher Monica, I make it more personal. OK, and it's suitable for emails, for letters or address to colleagues, clients, people. You have a professional relationship. OK, so it's OK. Dear sir or madam, as I told you, for writing is very good. And for example, when you want to, uh, you know, making actually, I don't know, um, it's general. Actually, let me say, for example, when you want to send a letter or email, OK, that is directed at a more general audience. Again, dear sir or ma madam, so you can say. OK, and uh, just let me say how you feel. That's really important. For example, if you call me. Um, teacher Monica. It's OK, OK, because you are a teacher. And the same ages, so it's OK. Or if you say Monica, if we are close, why not? It's OK. It depends on the person, OK, but when we add First name, we make it personal. When we add family name, more professional and formal. So, depends. But, yeah, and there is a point here that you need to pay attention. As I told you, you watch lots of things, hear lots of things. This one says it's not correct. This one says it's correct. But it depends. Just use it, of course. When you feel something, you use something really polite. For example, when you say, uh, dear teacher Monica, of course it's really polite, so it's OK, no matter. Oh, I say, no, you shouldn't say teacher Monica, teacher Anderson. No, it's OK. But some people believe, so it depends on the person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. when I study with uh, teacher Frank, in the class and uh, he said uh, we shouldn't call him teacher Frank, just call him Frank. So I of course. I, uh, I talked that um, American teacher like to be called by the name. <laughs> no, no, it depends. As I told you in university classroom just uh, for example, master or missus and family name. So when I'm uh, in university or for example, at school, just Mrs. Anderson. Online class, we know each other. It's OK. We are friends at the same age. Monica, it's OK. So it depends on the situation. No, but yeah, it depends on the maybe condition, situ the place, the place. Of course, if you are at school, if you are at university or no, so it depends, but it's OK. And just this. Well, other question? I understand now. <laughs> OK, very good. And well, so this is all about grading. So uh, the now you know the basic and the structure, the foundation of grading phrases, expressions that you can use. They're really common. You can use all of them, normal to use, and uh, just this. So, <laughs> just this, nothing else. Yeah. One question, please. First. In the United States, um, so between student and teacher, um, they call the name or teacher with the name. Normally, okay. normally, as I told you, family name. Oh, they family call us name. Yeah, family name, as I told you. For example, they call me uh, Mrs. Anderson. 
Mrs. Yeah. Anderson. Because they know if they know me, they know that I'm married. So they say Miss Anderson, Mrs. Anderson. If they don't know new students, Miss. Ms. Anderson, Miss is, you know, when we don't want to mention it, well, just Mrs. Anderson because they know me, but family name. Yeah, not, oh, not, not first name, no. I see, I understand now. Okay, very good. Well, ah, you know, time flies, I think. So again, the time is over. I really don't understand <laughs> when and how. So, okay, my dear Duda, another session and is over and time to go again. So yeah. just, if you have any questions, anytime, anything that I don't know makes you confused and you need to ask me, don't hesitate asking me on Skype. Just text me, okay? I will answer, okay? So. Thank you very much. You're welcome, have a great time. And see you next session. See you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, well, goodbye. Yeah.